We are live at night. <laughs> Safari Live came to the Maasai Mara to broadcast one of the world's greatest wildlife spectacles, the migration, with more of a focus on the predators that follow the herd. We wanted to gain insight into hunting behavior from the predators. Following them during their most active times meant that we would have to film at night. We wanted to have as little impact on this predator behavior as possible. Artificial light not being ideal, we turn to infrared lights and infrared cameras. <laughs> infrared light emits a wavelength that is out of the range of um, what humans can see and most animals. And what it really means is that we get to sit in pitch blackness and witness these an animals uninterrupted. This is Paka, one of our three vehicles that we take out all evening. And this is a vehicle we're sitting on when we're bringing you live action from the Mara at 3 o'clock in the morning. How we go about filming at night at Safari Live has a few components. One of them being the Canon ME20, which is a highly light sensitive camera with a full frame sensor. It has the ability to go up to 4 million ISO, meaning minimal light is often enough for us to film in color. We then have the infrared option on the camera, which is what we use quite a lot. Um, it being a highly light sensitive camera means that the one IR light that we have mounted to the top of the camera provides ample lighting to cover a scene of up to about 40, 50 meters, I would say, so that, you know, we can stick with the action. An experience that immediately jumps out to me was an evening I spent with Brent and at about half past two in the morning, in the black of night, through our infrared technology, we witnessed these female lionesses hunt an aardvark. Brent and I were beside ourselves. I for one had never seen a live aardvark in the wild and to see lions hunting them was something I hadn't imagined before. Another experience that sticks out to me was an evening spent with Scotty and we had lionesses feeding on a wildebeest. We then had, I think it was three or four hyena run in. And what normally happens is a standoff of sorts. Generally the hyenas are chased away, but on this occasion, the, the hyenas and the lions were co-feeding. This was, this was behavior I also never thought I'd get to see. Following these predators night after night as the sun went down has given us a massive insight into what these animals actually get up to during the night. It was just great to witness and try and understand and have every one of the viewers experience it with us. Are you wild about the wild? Subscribe to Safari Live and experience the wonders of the wilderness. And if you click on the bell below, we'll notify you every time a safari goes live.